Hi, welcome back to OT with Ashley. Today we're gonna to get our fingers messy and we're gonna be playing around with paint. So first you wanna make sure that you have a paint that is washable. Um, I have made the mistake of using acrylic paint and if it gets on your clothes, it's not coming out. So you'll see the materials that I have here. I have my cookie sheet, a toilet paper roll, we have some white paper, and then we're going to get a little bit messy with cotton balls and Q-tips. Make sure you have a cloth on hand to wash your hands as you go. And let's get started. So lots of fun things we can do with this paint. First off, if you can get your child to try to open the container, we're working on bilateral hand coordination. Um, the one hand is holding either way and opening with the lid and then squeezing works on our hand strength. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze some on there. So we can have as much fun and get as messy as we want. This is the part that kids love the most, often. <laughs> so we get a little bit messy in there and get that paint all over our fingers. Now we're gonna spice it up a little. Grab my rig, wash off a little bit because I'm grabbing the next color. Oh, <laughs> there you go, case in point. Be careful now I've got yellow paint all over me, but that'll just wash off, no worries. Okay, now we can get some mixture of colors going on. So depending on which pre-printing shapes you're working on, you can um, guide your child. So if you're playing together, depends on which level you're at. So when we're working with the pre-printing shapes, we wanna first do uh, imitation and tracing, and then we move on to copying. So imitation would be, or sorry, um, Tracing would be you make the shape and then they make the same shape. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And we just wash it away. So if we're working on lines and then your child does the line, wash it away. Line across, child does line across. Oh, I apologize. We need to um, move from left to right. There we go. Okay, and then we have circles. Have your child do the circle. Ooh, are you ready for the next one? We're gonna make a cross. Nice job. Okay, and then we can make a square. Fantastic, and wipe it away. Okay, so we're gonna see what we can do with this toilet paper roll. So we're gonna roll the paper. I think I need a little bit more paint. But we'll try it out like this and play as we go. So we get some paint here on our toilet paper roll. Again, we're working on that bilateral coordination, both hands as we adjust and roll. Some wrist strength, then we're gonna push that over there and bring our white paper in here and we're gonna roll that toilet paper roll. How cool is that? Okay, let's see what happens if we get a little more paint here. You can see you definitely want that cloth close by as this can get a little bit messy. Let's get some more paint in there. If you have more colors, you can mix them in. Okay, let's roll this toilet paper roll right through those colors. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, look at all that paint. So you can either have your child um, move those, the toilet paper roll with their fingers or you can move this over and we can roll it right on top. Awesome. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Let's see if we can cover our whole page. I love doing activities where we probably have most of the tools in our house. 
then you don't then you're not having to go out and buy new things okay so my letter my name starts with an a so i'm going to put an a in the middle so i've got my pointer finger ready my my stability side of my hand those fingers are tucked in you can always place a cotton ball this is a little tip and a trick here maybe for a, a little bit of a child maybe between um, four and five that's working on that hand grasp if you put a cotton ball that gives us a cue of something that we can hang on to so we're going to hold on to that um, on the right side of our hand and on the left side of our hand that's our working so we're going to get that pointer finger ready and i'm going to make an a we've got a big line down Big line down and little line across. All right, now I've got a special page just about me. Now that we've got our cotton ball in our hand, we're gonna see how we can use that cotton ball uh, on with our paint here. So we use the toilet paper roll, we're all done with that for now, and we're gonna see how can we use the cotton ball to make different shapes. So this is a step up from using our finger, we're now introducing a tool. So using the cotton ball, Again, we've got that stability side of the hand tucked in and we've got those fingers working. So we're using those three fingers together and we can just even just play around. What can we do? What can we make? Okay, oh, we're getting all crazy in here. Okay. We've got our pre-printing shapes going. Awesome. What else can we do? Oh, it's getting a little bit crazy. Oh, that one's pretty messy. Okay, so the last tool we're going to use is our Q-tip. So now we're taking one step further. It's a little bit closer to using a pencil. Some more color in here. Move through that color. Make all sorts of things. Okay. Again, we've got our circles and we can wipe it away with that other hand. Now, if you're really working on squares and, and the cookie sheet makes a great uh, option because if you actually just follow the outline we get more of a rectangle but it's working on getting those sharp corners which is the tricky part about a square just like that and then we can go back to using our finger and then wipe it all away okay so in today's OT with Ashley we've looked at getting our fingers messy and playing with paint this is also great for kids who have issues with um, just different textures. Uh, and then we looked at a couple different tools that you might have in your house, Q-tips and cotton balls. And then we also looked at using something like a toilet paper roll, uh, working on that bilateral coordination and making fun prints on a piece of paper. So thank you for joining this messy time with me. <laughs> Get my camera lifted up there. And, uh, Enjoy. I'm excited to see the creations you come up with, the colors you put together, and let's see if we can take that to the next step. How can you take those shapes and use those shapes to make 